Hi, this, um, these lectures go with the, the review handouts I gave you for statistics notation and probability concept. There's the front page of it so you can remember what it looks like. And um, in class, we already did the matching game with statistical notation. Just a little reminder there. If there's any of those you don't know, there are some that you probably don't remember that well. That's all right. But you want to make sure to know the main ones. Um, let me see, I get a pen. Probability of A, um, that's of course an important one. And we'll do a lot of f of x, which is just that density function and mu. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't remember capital F. I think x bar, you know, s. Hopefully you remember z as a standard normal. But yeah, I mean, that's partly uh, we have to review to re to remember these terms, so that's fine. Let's go down. So um, I want to break these up just a couple pages for video. This one is just, uh, these first two pages now are just reminding you about the branches of statistics and population versus sample um, definition of statistics. It's just a discipline where you're concerned with obtaining data, you want to do it as efficiently as possible, and you know this can be very hard. There's lots of ways to sample to get good data. Um, once we get it, we'd like to analyze it in order to model a population. So, I mean, we collect data, we eventually want to know something about the population that we're gathering the data from. Um, I like this quote by uh, Schuhart and Deming. Um, not so much are we worried about making everybody a statistician, but having engineers and others be able to think statistically to, you know, improve the workplace and, um, you know, things that you should be noting to people about, you know, it's important to have a random sample. It's important before you run certain tests that you have nice normally distributed data. So that's what that's trying to say. Um, reminder, there's two kinds of statistics. Uh, one of them is just descriptive statistics. And descriptive statistics is just you get a sample of data and you describe it either numerically or graphically. Um, you know, you find the important I don't know what do you important number summaries about the data set so that might be you know the mean of the data the median the the let me see standard deviation so they're just numerical summaries of the data they're called statistics and we can also use graphs to do it you know stem and leaf plots you might not remember but I'm sure you've seen histograms uh, we did box plots um, in 223 um, so here's kind of the layout for the different kinds of statistics. Um, the other kind is inferential statistics, and that's what I think, I mean, that's what I think of as statistics, as you, you get a sample of the data, and then you want to make inferences about the population that you obtain this, the sample from. I mean, you know, I could poll you guys and get a, it wouldn't be a random sample, but I could poll you on GPAs and then make some kind of inference about the GPA of all students at Rose Holman. So that's what I'm trying to collect that sample to make to make some kind of statement then about the population it came from. So here to me is a nice review of really s sampling. You know, you have this big population, right? And then we usually spend time in statistics talking about how to sample. You have like a simple random sample, a stratified sample, different kinds of sampling. Um, and from that sample, I mean, from that sampling method, you get a sample number of values and from there that's where we can do our descriptive statistics we can describe that sample um, you can get a mean of that sample you can get a median of that sample you can get a standard deviation so you can just describe that sample eventually what you'd like to do though is take that sample and say okay let's say I got X bar um, for our class I just averaged asked for the GPA and I averaged for our group of students and let's say I got a 2.8. Um, I mean really what I want to eventually do is say is that a good estimate of the population mean and the population mean is mu. You probably remember that notation. Mu is uh, the mean of a population. Um, can I use that sample that I just took from your class and I know it's not random to say something about the true mean population of GPAs for all Rose Holman students. 
So that to me is inferential statistics. You're taking a sample and you're inferring something about your population. So um, let me see how long I am so far if it's, yeah, I think that's long. I'll cut it. So that's, um, that's just the video then for page number two, what statistics, two branches, and um, really just the two branches. Okay.